guys, it's me, Jessica. Um, a few days back, I talked to y'all about doing a blog on how to transform your life, and I thought today is Transformation Tuesday, and I thought I'd just take it to the another level um, by teaching the inside transformation, um, just talking to you about the journey that I took on my transformation, because everybody keeps asking, I want to change, but they don't know how. And I, when I talk at my events, I talk about that. It, I call it my Roman 715 year. It was the year I'd gotten clean off drugs, but I'd you know, do drugs a little bit. And it was like, I would do the things I didn't want to do and I wouldn't do the things I wanted to do. Like it was this, this cycle, constant, vicious, like tug of war at my life. Like I wanted to be a better person, but didn't know how. So that's what I'm here to share my journey and to share the things that I've learned through that on my, you know, through other people helping me, through John helping me. And so I just kind of want to pass that along to y'all. So I hope that it helps you, and I hope that you take this journey with me. I don't know how many weeks we'll do it, but I think probably every Tuesday would be a good start. So um, I think, first of all, we have to love the Lord with all of our heart, mind, and soul, because apart from that, we cannot do any of this, because we can't do it on our own strength, because our flesh, our body is... We love sin, like we are drawn to things that we're not supposed to do. And so if we allow our body to control that instead of God, then we'll always be defeated. And number two, I think, uh, stop being selfish. <laughs> and I know my husband's probably going to laugh when he watches this because, like, I am still working on that. So anyway, um, I really think it's important to stop wanting your life to be different just in the bad times and forgetting that you wanted your life to be better when the times get better. And I think we're all guilty of this. Um, when times are down, when we're fearful, when we're going through a rough time, we we want our life to change. It was like when I was on drugs, I would come down off that drug and I would hate my life. I would just cry. I would want to die. And as soon as I would get another hit, like I'd forgotten that I wanted my life to change until I went down again. And so it was continue like, and I think we do that with life. I think life will get us down and then something will happen. It'll get us high. And then it's this vicious cycle. But when we come down again, it's even worse because we realized we felt the first time of, you know, wanting to change our lives. So it is a process. It's not a miracle potion that you're going to do. It's a lot of hard work. And, um, but I, I definitely think it's really worth it because, you know, to live in peace and happiness, there's nothing like that, you know, and especially what the world's offering to you. Um, you definitely have to forgive the ones who hurt you. You have to let it go. You can't take the pain and pity into your future. And that was such a vital thing because I would replay like a broken record of my past. Like I would just continue to replay it and replay it. And it was like this, <clears throat> of course, I can't get over it if I'm still wallowing in it. And so I just encourage you to, you know, think about these things that you're thinking about during the day of your past and try to cast those cares away to God because all they're doing is holding you back from the changed life that you want to get.